becoming a watchmaker, we actually have to become tool makers. The tools allow us to work with watches. Without those proper tools, we can't really accomplish anything when trying to make or repair a watch. Everything is so small and so delicate that we need to make sure that the tools can take care of the work pieces that we're actually working on. Movement holders are extremely important. Without a proper movement holder, we would damage the movement. As we're trying to assemble, disassemble, or manipulate parts, every movement has its own set of tools, its own set of movement holders and pieces of specialized tooling that we use to support those delicate components as we assemble or disassemble. A watchmaker will have a drawer full of movement holders, and that's just for the things that they work on regularly. As a Vacheron watchmaker, I had a drawer full of Vacheron holders, specific to each individual caliber, and possibly even specific to certain parts of a caliber, like an automatic mechanism, in order to support components for assembly. Pieces are not flat in a watch, so we can't just place them flat on the table. We have to support certain areas so that we don't bend things as we're pressing down on a bridge and trying to tighten it, or as we're pressing hands onto a pinion. If the jewel on the other side of the watch that holds and supports that pinion gets all of the force from pressing those hands onto the top of the pinion, that jewel may crack, or it may simply pop out of the bridge. You may even cause an adjustment to that jewel without realizing that could actually tighten or loosen the shake of that pinion. So you may have assembled a complete watch and the last step is putting on the second hand and by not supporting the pinion and the jewel properly while you press that hand on, you will actually damage the watch and you may damage it to the point where you put the hand on and it doesn't work properly. Even worse, you might damage it and not realize it. And if you don't realize it, the watch may go out to its owner and stop working at a later date. This is why it's very important to know how to make your own tools, or at least know how to design or select your own tools. Because without the proper tool, the work can't be carried out in the proper way. There are different types of movement holders. There are general holders, which will support a movement for general work. And oftentimes those movement holders will cross over. If it's a round holder, you might find that a movement with the same diameter would fit in the same holder. However, pinion placement will not be the same and other areas that need support won't cross over from movement to movement. So in that case, we have special movement holders that are unique to a single caliber. Those holders are typically used for specialized tasks. These specialized tasks might be something like setting the hands by pressing them onto the watch and having to properly support the pinions on the backside of the movement. There are also holders that incorporate pushers. If a watchmaker is working on a chronograph, they will need to be able to activate the start, stop, and reset mechanism. This way they can align the hands properly and also test the functions. There are also holders that will allow a watchmaker to assemble just one portion of a movement, meaning just the automatic mechanism or possibly just the tourbillon escapement. And this is for assembly prior to that component being placed into the watch movement. Depending on the complexity of the movement, 
there may be a whole set of movement holders just for that one movement. There could be a drawer full. For a grand complication, the number of tools required to assemble that movement could be 20, 25, even 30. And that's just fixtures, different holders for different parts of the movement during different operations. So before even attempting to make a movement or assemble a movement, the watchmaker that designed that movement has to think about the tools that will be required to properly assemble that movement. There are also general case cushions and case cushions are used when we just need to place a movement somewhere. Usually it's on the casing part of assembly. It's just a flat, soft surface to support the bottom of the movement. We never want to put a movement into a case holder. They're not designed for it, and it is a very fast way to damage a movement. Specific movement holders exist so that we can securely and safely hold on to the movement without using our hands. And we can work on the movement, oiling components, screwing in screws, and placing everything where we need it, making all the adjustments while still having the ability to pick up and move the movement around to do different inspections. Everything in watchmaking has a very specific reason for existence. A case holder is designed only for a watch case. A movement holder is designed only for a movement. The two are not interchangeable. They may look similar to the untrained eye, but they have two very different tasks. And to see a tool used in the wrong way makes me cringe as a watchmaker because both of those tools serve a very important purpose and have been made in a very specific way to do that one task in the best way that we can do it, but not do anything else. There are some movements that even as a trained watchmaker, I would not work on simply because I don't have the right tools. And the reason I say this is not because I don't have the skill to do that repair on that particular movement. I say it because I know better. I know better than to take an ultra thin movement and try to do a service on it without having the specific tools designed to support those extra thin parts. I know better than to try to disassemble and reassemble a tourbillon without the proper holder, because these parts are extraordinarily fragile. And without supporting them exactly where they need to be supported, we will actually do more harm than good when attempting a repair. This is why sometimes you may bring a watch in to a watch repair shop and they may say, we can't fix that. It's not necessarily because they don't have the skill it's because they don't have the proper tools.